The City Beneath the Sea, based on the Welsh legend of Cantre Gwaelod. Are you sitting comfortably? All right, let's begin. Many thousands of years ago, the king, King Gwythno, was out walking near his castle. He went out often to explore his land on foot. Each time he would venture just a little further into new territory. Today, he found himself in the thick forest that he had only seen in the distance from the windows of the Great Hall. He walked for many hours. Just as he was thinking that it might be time to turn back, the king stumbled upon a break in the forest. A bay, the sea gently lapping on the shore. Never before had he seen forest and sea sitting so closely together in perfect harmony. The trees were seemingly undisturbed by the tides. The king had an idea. He would build a beautiful city tucked away in the small clearing to add to his kingdom. Everyone thought the king was mad to build a city so close to the wild water's edge, but he insisted that all would be well. For he would build towering floodgates of iron to protect his city on the shore. Every night the gates would shut to keep the mighty water at bay. The king entrusted his old friend Seythenin with the responsibility of shutting the gates. <laughs> Seythenin had a reputation amongst the townspeople. He loved nothing more than a lavish party or a feast and was never seen without a goblet of wine in hand. Every night, Seythenin would close the floodgates before heading to the local inn for another drink. Oh, dear me, where are we going now then? It seems to have got a lot darker than normal. However, on this evening in November, the king was hosting a party in his castle nearby. Drunk and not wanting to be late for the festivities, Seythenin left the city by the sea without closing the floodgates. Oh, nearly there. What's this? Oh, I wonder if that Saren will be at the party tonight, huh? <laughs> Maybe I'll see her later. <laughs> oh, put my foot in a puddle now. Oh, dear, come on. Just as night fell and the townspeople were tucking themselves up in bed. Good night, Gwen Lian. Get into bed, Davis. Nor star get in. Night, Grandad. Nor star Saren. Thick. Fat raindrops began to fall. Slowly at first, but soon they built into a heavy downpour. Then came the wind, gusting in across the sea and howling through the forest. A storm began to rage. The sea crashed on the shore and began to reach up to where the gates stood, up and through. The city began to flood. People in their homes rushed out, taking with them what they could and began to flee through the forest and to the safety of the surrounding hills. since, the city has never been recovered. It remains deep under the sea. But if you listen closely, you might just hear the drowned bells of the church of Cantregwelod. 
And perhaps one day, a storm just as big as the one that night will blow in from the sea and wash away all the sand and bog to reveal the lost city. But until that day, we are left only with the bells. I freeze, struck by fear and war.